All right, guys, so today we are gonna be continuing to use our warm and cool colors. And on here, what we're gonna do is we are going to pick a shape that we are gonna fill in with one type and the exterior is gonna be another type of color. So the first thing I have to do is I have to figure out what shape I want to use inside for the picture that I'm doing in the middle. So you could do something like a heart or a star, something as simple as a circle, or you could even do something a little more complicated like a flower on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw my simple shape or picture in the middle of my paper. So for this one, I'm going to do a flower. So for the flower, I'm gonna start with a circle right in the middle, close to the middle, it's a little off to the side, but that's okay. And then I am going to up and I'm gonna draw some petals. Now I want whatever my shape is to be pretty big or whatever my picture is in the middle to be pretty big. I don't want it to be super teeny tiny because that's gonna make things a little more difficult as I go on. I want this shape to be pretty large. All right, so now I have what I'm drawing. I could, like I said, I could also do something else. I could do something more like a heart in the middle or a square or something like that. So once I have my design in the middle, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my pencil, or you guys know my marker, you guys are drawn in pencil, and I am gonna draw some lines that go all the way from the top to the bottom of my paper. And they're even gonna go right through the middle of my shape, and that's okay. So I wanna draw somewhere between four and eight lines. You don't want too many on there because that's gonna make it really hard to do, but you want enough. So I'm gonna do one and I'm gonna kind of do it at an angle. And remember, like I said, it's gonna go straight through something else. And go two and this one might crisscross that first line three, four. So I kind of did two X's here and then we're gonna do just one line that goes from this side to the other side here. So I'm gonna do one that goes right kind of through the middle of my picture. So now what I've done is I've broken up my paper into all these different spaces. So I have the spaces around my inside shape and then I have the spaces inside my inside shape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to color in these spaces. Now you have a choice you have to make here because remember we're using our warm and cool colors again. So you need to pick one group of colors or one color scheme for the inside shapes and one color scheme for the outside shapes. So for me, I'm gonna make my flower all warm colors and I'm gonna make the background all cool colors. Now the other thing I want you to change with this is every time one of these lines interrupts your picture, it's going to change which warm or cool color you're using. So watch here, I'm gonna color these ones, because remember I'm using warm, I'm gonna color these ones as pink. Okay, so you see here, in this one little shape that formed right here, I colored all of the flower petals in the same color, but when they ran into a line that crossed through the petal, I stopped coloring and I'm going to switch to a different warm color. So I want it to still be warm. So oranges, reds, yellows, but it's going to be a different warm color. So in this block, it's gonna turn to orange, but just in this square here. In this one, it's gonna be kind of a reddish, orangey color. So it's kind of like every time one of these lines cut through or went through the middle of the flower, it made the flower 
change colors. But remember, we're keeping only warm colors inside my shape right here. So I'm using only warm. So on this one, it's going to switch to yellow. But I have to be careful because in this petal, there's more than one line that cuts through it. So it's still only going, it's going from purple to yellow here, or not purple, pink to yellow here. And then it's stopping again. So then I'm going to do yellow here and here as well. And then where it cut into with these other lines, it's going to change colors again. So that might mean, like I said, a red, a pink, an orange, a yellow. So right here, it's going to turn to red. And it cut through on this part. It's going to turn to peach, which is just a mixture of orange and white together. So it's still a warm color. This one here is going to turn pink. And then I'm going to have this one also fade into, whoop, lost control of my crayon, into orange here. And then I have to pick a color for the center of my flower, which for me, I am going to pick red. Since I have pink petals all right around it, kind of a dark pink. So the inside is going to be this red color. Okay, so now I have my whole center shape drawn. And remember, it shows every time, kind of like little puzzle pieces, there's a line. Oh, I forgot to do this one. So I'm going to come down here and just this tiny piece there and there. I'm going to make this one that ready orange. And I'm going to make this one the light pink, not the dark pink. So now I'm all the way done. And once I have this done, now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do that with my cool colors. So I'm going to be using my blues, my greens, and my purples to fill in all the big background shapes. And kind of like before, each time a shape kind of stops, it's going to change colors. So I'm just going to get out all of my cool colors so I have those to easily get to while I am drawing this and coloring this in. I'll put my warm colors back. All right, so now I can take all my cool colors. So from right here, going off my reds, or my blues, greens, and purples. It can be any shade of blue, green, or purple, though. And I can start coloring all of those in. Kind of my lime green here, and I might do that here. And I'm going to do it in this one, too. I'm kind of making this whole shape right here. That's all going to be the same color background. And then it'll change when it goes. It looks kind of yellowy on the camera, but it is more of a lime green than a yellow. All right, so now when you're done, you should have this awesome warm color piece in the middle with a cool colored background around it. All right, you guys have fun. Can't wait to see what you did.